Welcome to the Kalimat Podcast, a show on self-development and related inspiring stories. Let's welcome our host, Sherbanu Khan. Hello and welcome to Kalimat Podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about today's episode. Kalimat Podcast is not always about happy bubble of life. It is also a platform where we discover people behind their titles and how failures have helped them shape into the people they are today. While we also encourage them to show up and tell the story. On the podcast is a guest, a CEO, the founder of a digital marketing company based in Islamabad and an activist who works for transgender rights in the country with her own hashtag and teaches and empowers women to learn self-defense and writing skills. Ten years ago, Momina saw her house burned down during a cold winter night and nothing was ever the same again. Her story of overcoming struggles and still succeeding inspires all of us. I don't think I want to add anything further. Let's hear all about it and welcome her onto the show, shall we? Hello and welcome to Kalimat Podcast, Momina. So happy to have you here. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Pano, and thank you for having me here at your podcast. Yeah, you're welcome. And thank you so much once again. So if you joined me from Islamabad, tell me, how's the weather there? Weather is great right now. It's raining outside and I'm just loving the vibe. I'm just loving the cozy. The best thing about being in Islamabad is you can travel to north anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love mountains. the mountains and whatever even if we want uh, don't want to go to like uh, nathia gali or marisa or kpk sai or just visit margata hills you can go to trail you can meditate there and it's just lovely islamabad this is a whole new matlab different vibe so it's, beautiful it's great mm. okay great my listeners and i cannot wait to get to know you please tell us about yourself okay hello everybody i am mona nur and uh, of course this is bano who invited me here about me i am an entrepreneur and i'm running my company it's called scala and it's a digital marketing firm and also we provide it solutions like web applications and mobile application to 3 2D and 3D animations, and we are working closely with brands for their marketing strategies, to, from building brands to like executing the marketing strategy uh, in reality. And along with that, I am a social activist, also into running different causes like for transgenders on your own. Then another thing, uh, I also empower women, so like I'm providing them, uh, helping them get scooties so they can be independent. So then I'm also a general secretary at Port Power Adventure Club. So you know, you know, Vano, I'm like I, I'm an adventurist. Yes, you are. Uh, Momina, let's slow down a little bit. There are a couple of things that are going on here, and for the first time as a host, I struggle to find. a suitable topic for my guest honoring and respecting how billion of personality you have it's my employing and because of that i decided to discover two topics with you first you as an entrepreneur especially being a woman and the progress that goes behind your leadership qualities and the other topic is you becoming a biker because i know there's a story to that and i can't wait for you to share that with us so yes yeah, all mine bano i had like being an entrepreneur is like uh, my core quality i'm like mm-hmm. i'm aries you know i'm into zodiac as well so aries are kind of born leaders and uh, i'm always in this kind of a person who always take initiative when it comes to start something something different so take take a risk it very well reflecting in my personality and that's why i'm an entrepreneur and this is the one word which describes me perfectly mm-hmm. so it's all about risk and it's all about solution right you became an entrepreneur at a very early age how did you do that so back in 2014 like uh, start of 2014 i remember um, i had a short circuit at my house so half of my house was burned down and uh, at mm. the moment i was in the house and one of my neighbor came in and if she didn't yell to wake me up it was like winter it's like chill cold and i was wearing a blanket and couldn't hear anyone so there was all smoke inside the room and if she didn't yell and didn't wake up for like two minutes i could have died there But there was no one at my house and i've seen my house burning to the ground the fridge the tvs the the devastation that was like 
it was a financial uphills my family were facing back then. And uh, I was uh, in a third semester of BS Computer Sciences I was doing from Kust University, Kust Islamabad. Mm. And uh, because of the financial deficits, and we lost so many things and so much stuff. So uh, it was very expensive for me to continue in that uh, university because they were like one lakh plus they were charging at, the, at that time. I had to quit my university so that my brothers don't suffer. I just want them to like flourish. By then I've done, cleared the third semester and I've already knew the basics of programming back then, na? So mm. uh, I don't know how this thing is in me. I don't know how to quit. If there are oh. so many hurdles around, I don't know how to quit. I've tried my best, my best to like transfer myself to any other university of Islamabad. But there are times when you try like 99% and you try every, every bit. But there is another force around mm. you, which is Allah and that does not want you to be in some places and there are a lot of things which were happening which is out of uh, logic it's mm-hmm. like i'm going to one university and the university is closing in uh, by 12 o'clock you know she do not close like four or five so i'm right. sending an automated email and email is not getting there like it's an automated system technological mm-hmm. problems and i'm getting calls from lahore even even i tried to transfer myself to a virtual university and it didn't work out so that's why uh, then i realized that even if you put all your effort and all the law of attractions you know and you have to sometime you have to give in at, the, at that moment i learned you have to sometime let go for the thing you love the most i love the computer science you know it was like my dream from mm. since ninth class to be in such places anyways then i didn't quit i started back there uh, started working i came to a corporate world before that i tried to get my first interview i remember it was roots millennia mm. school so i interviewed there that was my first interview and got cv and uh, i got shortlisted there as a martial arts and arts and IT manager uh, because of my technical knowledge. And I work at uh, Roast Millennium for like a month and a half. I, I always knew that teaching is not my thing. I'm more of a creative person and I'm more of business and a work quality person. So mm. Allah put me in a place. Um, it was a software house. It was a uh, step initiated by my cousins. And I have run his business on behalf of, and I made sure that in six months, his business went break even position. So I was general manager there and I started working. Hmm. So uh, it took me like one and a half year over there. And then uh, there, there just be a time we had a fight. And, you know, you get, uh, egoistic when you like fight with your own cousins and you know you're not getting it came into my mind that back then when I was very very angry uh, on my cousins so I thought I will open it so that was the moment I have done so much for this so now it's time to start to like start in the anger now you have to do it consequences are like you don't think about it I remember my office was at G11 Marcus here in Islamabad. I was in front of building. I was in front of the offices. I was in front of the office. I was in front of the I want this office. Na? At hmm. that time, the office current tha, it was like 22,000. Hmm. So, still for me, it was something I cannot afford. Of like, course. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I was in front of the building. I was in front of the building. I was in front of the building. I was in front of the system. I was in front of Initiate the Kalia, hmm. but a mekia karuna, me Allah sebate. So, like talking to him, and I was uh, like saying, I got yak to Allah Talani kia kia ke muje bano, usi office me bitaya, and without money within a week, the same office made a joint venture who gave property real estate from Kesat and. I started providing them uh, IT services for their real estate projects. They are like IT and their marketing and their designs and websites of their projects. Now, so we worked on many projects. So here, here was the leap of faith I took, and Allah, Allah ne mera saath diya. The risk mein liya. Or is kebat se na mene pe che murke nahi dekha. Mene us pe us firm ke saath dir sal kam kya se experience gain karne ke baad then. Ab meri education bhi. Saat saat jo hai, wo time guzara tha, you know, it's very important. And my mother was very concerned. Ke yaar, phir kya kya? I socha ke yaar, momina education bhi to saath mein important hai hai. So, you know, ek ego a jati hai bandhe mein ki saari jindagi aapne science padhi ho. You know, aap science ke students reho saari yeah. jindagi hai. And aap arts accept nahi karbate ho. So, it took me, Bano, it took me two years to realize sometimes jo humne apne standards set kiye hote hai na, egos, ke yaar, mm-hmm. ye chujh se mene karne hi nahi hai. Sometimes mm-hmm. aap unko as a step 
लेके चले तो आप लाइफ में बहुत कुछ अचीव कर सकते हैं मैंने उसी टाइम ना चाइनीज का बहुत ज्यादा बिजनेस आ रहा था पाकिस्तान में सी टेक के वजह से और मेरा बिजनेस माइंड है तो चाइनीज जो है वो प्रेफर करते हैं अपनी लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज बोलने वाला बंदा होना तो चाहे आपकी स्किल हो ना हो लैंग्वेज आपको आती है अगर उनकी तो वो आपको प्रेफर करते तो मैंने उस जगह में नंबर में एडमिशन लिया साथ ही मैं स्टार्ट कर दी चाइनीज लैंग्वेज में एसोसिएट डिग्री करना इसी के साथ मैंने बी के लिए अप्लाई कर दिया सरगोदा यूनिवर्सिटी से एंड मैंने दो साल के बी के पेपर एक ही महीने में दिए इकट्ठे ईगो उस टाइम भी इतनी थी मानो कि मैं बगैर पड़े हुए पेपर देने चली गई थी मैंने बी ए के पेपर बिताऊ नहीं ये मैं पढ़ूंगी आई वॉज लाइक यार ये मतलब ये तो मेरे बाएं हाथ है गेम है ना आई वॉज सो इन माई है मैं मैंने सिर्फ उस टाइम पे पढ़ा कि जब मेरा भाई मुझे एग्जामिनेशन हॉल तक ना यहाँ पे पिंडी में हमारा एक सेंटर बना था इस्लामाबाद से पिंडी जो छोड़ने जाता था वो जो हाफ और लगता था उस दौरान में मैं पीछे गाड़ी में बैठ पड़ती थी ठीक है तो ये पढ़ के मैंने टोटल पेपर दिया और एक पेपर वाले दिन मुझे जाके पता चला की उस पेपर की तो मेरे पास बुक ही नहीं है <laughs> तो मैं चुप करके इधर उधर देखना शुरू हो गई की यार ये तो मैंने बुक खरीदी नहीं थी तो फिर क्या हुआ कि और कॉन्फिडेंस का रिजल्ट आया तो मेरी उस सब्जेक्ट में ऑफ कोर्स सफली आई हुई थी फिर क्या मुझे दोबारा पेपर वो वाला देना पड़ा लेकिन मैंने वो पेपर पास तो कर लिया दूसरी दफा जब वो सफली वगैरह में दिया ना मैंने तो मेरे जो परसेंटेज आई दैट वॉज फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट अब फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट तो यू के नॉट टेक एडमिशन इन मास्टर्स यू नो नो बट नो यूनिवर्सिटी एक्सेप्ट यून फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट ना एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू हैव फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो अब क्या हुआ कि जो सेकेंड चांस होता है ना आपको इम्प्रूवमेंट देने का वो मेरे से मिस हो गया एंड साइमल्टेनियसली जो मैंने अपनी कंपनी थी ना वो मैं वर्चुअल ले आई थी एट दैट टाइम कोविड का कोई चक्कर नहीं आया था लोगों को पता ही नहीं होता था हाउ टू रन अ वर्चुअल कंपनी सो आई वॉज रनिंग माई वर्चुअल कंपनी सो आई टुक इट टू अ प्रोजेक्ट बेस एंड देन मैंने जो अपने ये बी ए के एग्जाम है दोबारा सारे पेपर देने पड़े मुझे और इस दफा मैंने अपनी ईगो को साइड पे रखे एक महीना पढ़ के दिए तो फिर तो इस दफा ये हुआ कि मेरे फोर्टी थ्री से मैंने फिफ्टी थ्री पे जंप किया इवन जो एग्जामिनर था वो हैरान हो गया क्योंकि बी ए में ना यू डोंट गेट इतना इतना गैप नहीं आता आपको ना इम्प्रूवमेंट या आप पेपर वगैरह देते हो तो ही वॉज सरप्राइज एज वेल तो मैंने वो फिफ्टी थ्री की और साथ ही मेरा एडमिशन हो गया इकरा यूनिवर्सिटी में क्योंकि टाइमिंग अच्छी थी छह से नौ दिन को काम भी करना होता था तो मैंने एडमिशन लिया मेरा एडमिशन हुआ एम बी एन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मैनेजमेंट सो वानो एट दैट मोमेंट आई रियलाइज के अल्लाह पुट मी टू ऑल द एक्सपीरियंसिस टू मेक मी चूज द बेस्ट डिग्री जो कि मेरे एक्सपीरियंस के साथ बिल्कुल अलाइन जा रहा है यू you नो know? और उससे पिछली जो डेवस्टेशन जो मैं चीजें फेस करके आ रही थी वो साथ साथ फिर मुझे एम बी ए रेगुलर करना पड़ा थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स का जब आपका टू ईयर्स बैचलर होता है तो आपको एम एस के इक्वलेंट जब एम बी ए करना होता है तो वो थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स का होता है तो hmm. so, वो मैंने स्टार्ट किया दिन को मेरी नमक यूनिवर्सिटी होती थी फ्रॉम लाइक वन टू सिक्स ओ क्लॉक एंड फ्रॉम सिक्स टू नाइन मेरी यूनिवर्सिटी दूसरी होती थी एक बार एंड hmm. इसी साथ साथ मैं अपनी कंपनी भी चला रही थी अपने अपने जितने भी एक्सपेंसेस थे वो मैंने सारे खुद दोनों यूनिवर्सिटीज के खुद दिए अपनी मतलब इस तरह कंपनी में काम इस तरह चल रहा था कि मेरे जितने भी एक्सपेंसेस थे ना वो सारे मैनेज हो रहे थे मतलब प्रॉफिट hmm. मैं ये नहीं कह रही थी कि आई कुड सेव सम मनी आई कुडेंट बिकॉज यूनिवर्सिटीज आर वे हेल्थ एक्सपेंसिव माँ बाप कैसे पढ़ाते हैं बच्चों को बच्चे बहुत फिटे हुए होते हैं इट्स वेरी एक्सपेंसिव डे टू डे एक्सपेंसिव मेरे अपने थे यू नो कपड़े मेरे जूते एंड एवरी ना तो वो मैं सारा खुद कर रही थी एंड देन अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अब uh, इस इस ईयर के मार्च को मेरी डिग्री खत्म हुई है एंड फ्रॉम पांच साल हो गए एग्जीक्यूट में हुए हुए और मैंने उसको पिछले साल रीब्रांड भी किया फ्रॉम ओवर टेक डेवलपमेंट टू स्केल अप एंड दिस वाज माय एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप जर्नी जो के इट्स फुल ऑफ फील्स एंड आई बी यू आर लिसनिंग टू करिमा पॉडकास्ट First of all, congratulations. You made it. I mean, I'm struggling with my speech right now. I can't put my feelings into words right now for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, Momina, I want to thank you for trusting me and my podcast to share this. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Actually, I, I wanted to share this story because I think a lot of people are suffering from so many things and you know, you Allah put you to the phases and test you and make you who, uh, who you are right now. So, aap jo ban ke nikalte ho, you would love yourself, you know. Okay, so first of all, I have a few questions here. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you now? I am uh, 27 years old. Okay, great. And how old were you 
when that incident happened yeah well, i was 18 18 okay yeah. and you're the first born yeah i'm the first born and i have two brothers uh-huh. so you dropped out of school so you, your brothers can continue their education yeah that's why I'm, i i wow. i i had this conversation with my father and i i still remember the time we had, we were having this conversation and he had tears in his eyes and i had tears in my eyes and told him that don't worry i'm here sometimes bano incidents insaan ko waqt se pehle bada bana dete hain but uh-huh. it's not necessary ke log log problems ke sath zindagi ko leke bahut serious ho jate hain i think balance is very necessary and over the years i've learned that uh, even life is throwing some rocks on you where you have mm-hmm. to be strong and smile smile towards the world and be the light so i've yeah. noticed two things in you you have very good faith yeah. and you and and love the positivity oh uh, i do believe that uh, whenever you are in such situation you have two things either to accept and sort of look at it in a more positive way like okay this has happened what do i do next which i think was the one the road that you've chosen for yourself and the another one is to sit down and regret and blame others and your life for it and not work or not do anything so i'm so proud of you woman i can't stress enough on this thank you so much thank you so much it means a lot what people do is they choose the easiest path you know Mm-hmm. this path that i have chosen is yep. it's yep. very hard it's really really hard you have to let go and you do not have to let go for others you have to let go for yourself just for your peace of mind you should love yourself enough to let go the resentments you have mm-hmm. seeing you support your own self starting from you know even getting smallest thing like clothes and then paying up your university fees It takes a lot of encourage to do that don't you think whatever happened happened for a good reason that made you who you are today imagine for a second that moment you continue with your schooling at age of 18 do you think you would have been here the way you are right now today or you think that maybe uh, because you said it was always in you or the hurdle would have been uh, very different because i think mm. hard times make a strong people and you know soft times and easy times good times make a weak people mm. and these hard times actually made me who i am today you are yeah. pure definition of resilience and i love it yeah. you should be very proud of yourself I'm, and i i want you to go talk about this on different platforms because people need to hear this there used to be a time bano when allah taala showed me jo mere apne batchmates the from mm. cast from the cs and unki cvs mere haath mein aayi thi and that was the proud moment there was another proud moment when my father came to me and he said to me that i'm proud of you my daughter so you have mentioned some really interesting points and i think we both would agree having a good idea is not always enough when it comes to being successful in business in my opinion what matters the most is your mindset no matter what you do whether it's business or even working out at the gym And of course when I'm talking about mindsets I'm also talking about your mental models which are created by you helping you make these decisions. Being said that, what does it take to become an entrepreneur? What do you think about this? Well, to become an entrepreneur first you have this this core mindset of having a solution of every problem. Why this is thing this means I think I will give credit to my father because I remember when I was little and uh, we were on this base he told me that how you will tackle the problems so for example i remember my father asked me momina beta agar yahan pe aap gum jao to kya karoge mm-hmm. so i was like uh, soch mein padi gaya kya karunga so like to koi masla nahi hai yahan pe uh, baba ka number to pata hai na so kisi stranger mm-hmm. se phone leke baba ko call kar lena hai acha chale call nahi milti to ab kya karoge chalo ye ho gaya ab kya karoge chale kehte koi masla nahi ghar ka address to pata hai na aapne taxi lene hai और घर चले जाना तीसरी चीज उन्होंने कहती थी अच्छा चलो अब पैसे नहीं है तो क्या करोगे टैक्सी के लिए पैसा चाहिए होता है जैसे अच्छा चलो पैसे नहीं है तब भी कोई मसला नहीं आपने टैक्सी लेके घर जाना है घर में कोई होगा ना ताया चाचू को उनमें से उनसे पैसे लेके दे देना आई रिमेम्बर की उन्होंने मेरी शायद ट्रेनिंग ही इस तरह सोल्यूशन ओरियंटेड किया है किसी भी प्रॉब्लम को लेके मैं पैनिक नहीं हूँ जो जो कि मोस्टली लोग हो जाते हैं जो फर्स्ट थिंग कम्स टू माई माइंड इज अ सोल्यूशन मेरे सामने कोई प्रॉब्लम रखता है बंदा मुझे फौरन उसका सोल्यूशन आता है एंड आई थिंक अंटरप्रनोर के अंदर ये क्वालिटी इज द फर्स्ट क्वालिटी वन शुड है प्रॉब्लम यू नो हाउ टू सॉल्व इट सेकंड थिंग इज योर कम्युनिकेशन शुड बी गुड आई लर्न ओवर द इयर्स नो हाउ टू बी लिटिल 
indirect to your speech i was very direct i was like straight for, i'm a straight forward person by nature mm. so i've learned uh, that sometimes you don't have to be too direct when it comes to business mm. and then you also uh, you should know how to gather resources and how to manage the infrastructure how to manage a team how to be a leader don't don't be a boss your every employee is like a family to you and treat them like one and they will give you the best how to come up at and i also do not believe in traditional companies infrastructure i believe if you're done with your work in 2 hours you can go home i don't want you to sit at your desk like for 8 hours just to like mingle here and there aapka task pura hai and you can like you have all the freedom to do whatever you want absolutely and that is new normal now yeah yeah i think covid uh, created a lot of uh, devastation around the globe but it mm. also like it boomed the it industry and it created a lot of awareness when it comes to remote work and people yeah. are like opening doors and coming out of their comfort zones and like mm. trying new different things so that that's amazing yep and what you mentioned about your father him treating you and giving you scenarios of what to do mm. if not this i think that's excellent our parents should treat their children and teach them how to think instead of what to think i mean what to think yeah. can be taught in school your your formal education informal education i just love what think. you said i just love i just love it what you said yeah instead of uh, to think instead of what to think yeah that does yeah, that's amazing because they go, what to think can be taught in school by our teachers yeah. about you know the media whatever it goes into your subconscious mind but how to think is something not everyone is lucky enough to discover this part of their lives by the way yes because that's how our education system and our environment is designed by no nobody mm. tells you how to think everyone tells you what to think you have been conditioned mm. like this your whole society is conditioning you in a way so your creative thinking go now mm. uh, that's why we do not have a lot of entrepreneurs and you know, a lot of creative thinkers here that's the only reason because your society is not providing you enough environment to do so yeah we shall give your father some credits some or like a lot of yeah, credits yeah uh, uh, definitely uh, that's for us yeah. a lot of credit goes to him of course i mean to treat a child from that early on on what to think and how to think is amazing so yes yes it and made a like, person like you yeah it made a person <laughs> like me also also there are there are times when i remember my father used to be my biggest support before there is one uh, mishap happened with me and i remember i was in college and um, this guy was following me and i was coming back from college and he was behind me na so wo mere ghar ke piche piche tak aa gaya and there was this aunty this is she started making a fuss out of it and hamare uh, area mein ye cheez itni phail gayi and i remember at that time mere father jo hai wo na darne gaye the beti ke isko leke dal jata banda Uh-huh. and he stopped supporting me after that and after that you have no idea about no you you asking me i have i have a very good faith with allah mm. so i i i after that i think i've done my journey around i think most of the time it's the the society pressure on our parents that make them feel or act differently i mean if this thing did not happen with the, the whole aunty situation he wouldn't be this person right so what made him change his behavior with you wasn't was not something that happened between you guys it's because of society and the pressure that they would put on him of course mm. me and my mother are like poles apart and uh-huh. get kind of similar as well and uh, we have a different kind of thinking for um your definition of feminism so we mm. have like totally opposite thinking when it comes to this where she is coming from and i understand where my father is coming from so i don't hold them accountable for this yeah. i know why they are acting in certain way and mm. uh, although it took me years to actually understand that and have that certain level of maturity at that time it used to like um, it it was a fight you know i was fighting outside yeah. my house i was like fighting inside my house and i was fighting within myself i was mm. i was having three battles i mean i can understand and yeah. uh, and those those time were like um, so miserable i i still remember and i think mujhe mere mind mein ye bhi tha bahut zyada ke allah taala mujhe kisi cheez ke liye taiyar kar raha hai and that i know i think when children understand their parents right like why is my mom like that or why is my dad like that uh, it takes a lot of time but when they do right i think that one ki journey to become better and break the cycle and 
change begins i think uh, i could have been a total rebellion i didn't choose to be why because i don't want to break my parents you know aapko khud kuch banne ke liye zaruri nahi hai ki aap apne maa baap ko tod ke aage jao ha aap kuch kuch thoda endure kar lo aap thoda unko kar lo balance bahut zaruri hai kuch unko todne mein aap bhi kahin kamyab nahi hote ho aur apne aap ko kuch karne ka nahi samajh sakte ho aur unko saath leke chalna na bahut mushkil hai unko samjhana mushkil tha her time and main apne ghar walon ko ye nahi samjha pati thi ki i'm working and how is the situation at home right now now things are progressing i was the first one so yes a lot of things are changing and that is really nice you are listening to karima podcast fear of failure is one of the common things among people who might share the same mindset what do you think is a core reason that stops us being on this journey number one as i told you earlier that uh, we do not think creatively we don't have that much ability because of our societal conditions the second thing is um, there is this fear that if you do not secure the, in our society we have this mindset we're going to get a good job there is a jobian mindset and this mindset is created through our educational system and our parents used to tell us that if you don't get a good job there is no place for you in a society people won't respect you in certain way and in our human nature we go for security we tend to have this care environment around us so we feel secure and then when you are getting money every month so you feel secure you can pay your bills and you can like do stuff so yeah. that's why being, being an entrepreneur being a business person yeah being in your comfort zone and to get out of that uh, entrepreneurship is all about risk sometimes maybe you don't have a penny in your account i've been to, through those phases i remember i don't have a penny to pay my university fees i remember those days as well and mm-hmm. uh, i found the solutions like breaking my installments and doing stuff so you you wow. you have to feel such you have to go through such uh, experience to be an entrepreneur and you have to have such courage to be on same path continuously persistence is very necessary to be an entrepreneur and mm. you know fear is just a precursor to a valor all you need is to strive into the face of fear you know to to triumph whatever you are looking and do you know we are born with two fears only the fear of falling down and the fear of loud noises i think yes one should know how to train your brain and we are thinking and we are self sabotaging our our growth just mm. because we think something like this going to happen and it doesn't even exist that we also sabotage not just ourselves to our we also implement this in our relationships as well and okay. uh, our day to day life so we uh, because it's not it's not their fault i'm again mm. i'm going to say it's not their fault they are conditioned like that mm. you know you have to have certain knowledge to get out of certain conditions out of the box to think out of the box you have to be out of the box You have to explore and do you think entrepreneurship can be taught without these experiences i think uh, if a person is uh, having good money and wants to start a business and be an entrepreneur and mm. want to try to solve a problem but uh, without any experience uh, their business will fail maybe uh-huh. because of the employees it can go flourish but they will learn from that failed business to how to mm. do a proper business you know you can uh, check the history microsoft honor was his name i don't uh, i just steve forgot jobs hi not that steve job microsoft honor uh, what's his name i forgot his name bill gates, bill gates. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. business yeah. is about risk and a learning curve it's a roller coaster ride and one has to go through a roller coaster ride to be an entrepreneur a good entrepreneur yeah yeah to be continued